The subject of this video is interfacing Arduino to the TSL230R light to frequency converter. I'm your host Lewis Laughlin. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. Let's get started. This is a block diagram of the internal schematic to the device. It consists of an array of photodiodes with two sensitivity settings, S0 and S1. Then it has a current to frequency converter, and S2 and S3 are frequency dividers. In general, the more sensitive the diode array is set, the higher the frequency. At the same time, the frequency can be so high that if you don't divide it down, Arduino will not be able to read the pulses. So we would utilize S2 and S3 for that. All right, the device outputs a 50% duty cycle square wave whose frequency is in proportional to light intensity. It can be used for a number of things like um, reading light levels or even as a motion detector. The program that's up on my website is very simple to implement. Here's the Arduino to TSL230R connections. S0 and S1 that determine your sensitivity are connected to digital pins 11 and 12. And of course your pulse out S2 and S3 are connected respectively to digital pins 4, 5, and 6. Here is a picture of the actual device. It is an 8-pin dip. The ones that are available today, I couldn't find a source for the 8-pin dip, but Mauser has a source, which will be listed on the web page, um, that they have a surface mount version of this. They're approximately, in single units, $3.90 a piece. These used to be sold by uh, Adafruit. They no longer carry it. And it, the part originally was sold at Radio Shack is where I got mine. Radio Shack's gone too. But it's still a fun device to play with. And let's look at a live video of the uh, device in action. And thanks for viewing this video. And catch you next time. Welcome. What we have here is an Arduino Nano, which is right here. And this device, which is a little hard to see, I'll zoom in on it in a couple of minutes, is the TSLR, TSL230R light to frequency converter. It puts out a 50% duty cycle square wave whose frequency is directly dependent on light intensity falling on the sensor. I put my finger over the sensor, of course, the frequency will drop. And the higher the intensity, the frequency will increase. Over here is, this meter is also a frequency counter, so you can compare the frequency being read by the Arduino, which is not as accurate at the, as the counter, but uh, it's fairly close. This is an I2C connected LCD display. And the nice part about this particular sensor, it has four control pins that you can program the freak, both the frequency division and the sensitivity. The more sensitive it is, the higher the frequency. Of course, if the frequency is too high, Arduino can't read it. So it's a matter of playing around with it a bit. There's not a whole lot more to say. We'll look at the uh, schematic and the programming. Let me see if I can zoom in on the sensor a little bit for you. And compare the readings on the... Let's just zoom on down here. Move the camera over just a bit right here in the center. That's your sensor. It's a nice little 8-pin device. Like I said, you can just 
just by varying the light frequency. By varying your light intensity, you change the output frequency. Arduino reads the frequency and, cal and ca actually what it does, it returns the positive half cycle the way I've got it programmed of the uh, square wave. It just, determ it just does the positive half of the uh, cycle which you have to multiply by 2 and then divide into a value to get the frequency. And it works fairly well for this demo. What you can always do of course is just use the raw number returned and some of your uses. Uh, you could use this for example to monitor the light level of an area if something moves within that area uh, you can automatically detect it um, other uses you just have to be your own judge it's, a, it's an easy to connect part it's an eight pin dip and let's move on we'll look at the schematics a little bit but the programming is real simple note that the arduino is not the world's greatest frequency counter but it works